Hello, and welcome back for the September 2024 Sky Report. My name is Vanessa, and I'm here to tell you about some of the interesting things happening in the sky this month. Let's get started. On September 5th, Mercury reaches its greatest elongation. That means if you wake up before the sun, you have a chance to find Mercury on your horizon. This is not the best apparition possible, but it's still an opportunity if you really want to catch the closest planet to the sun. At 6 a.m., it will be around 10 degrees above the horizon. You'll need a very clear eastern horizon and a sharp eye to spot this one. You may be able to see this one better if you go out around 5.30 a.m. to start looking for it, because the sky will be a little bit darker. The planet Saturn is at opposition on the evening of September 7th into the early morning of September 8th. This means Saturn rises at about sunset, and we are about as close to it as we will get for the year. This is a fantastic time to watch the planet as we approach the date of Saturn's equinox. Over the next few months, the rings of Saturn are slowly going to appear smaller and smaller due to the tilt of the planet. Take a look at this recent image from the Association of Lunar and Planetary Observers. This was from August 15th, and you can see the rings are already appearing smaller than they did last year. Here's an image from December of 2023 to compare. So this month is a great time to start observing the planet to prepare for the equinox. Next up, you might have heard that the full moon this month is considered a supermoon, but there is also a partial lunar eclipse on that same day. On September 17th, part of the moon will travel through the Earth's shadow. The eclipse begins before the moon rises for us in Los Angeles, but will reach greatest eclipse at 7.44 p.m. There are two parts to the shadow, the umbra and the penumbra. The umbra is the deepest part of the shadow, and the penumbra is the partially covered, fuzzy shadow region. This eclipse is considered partial because the moon will only partially travel through the umbra. This eclipse will be very subtle, so it will take deliberate observation to see. The moon's light will be slightly subdued as it travels through the penumbra, and a slow-moving shadow will slip past the top left of the moon at about the 11 o'clock hour angle position, observing from the ground. After the umbral part of the eclipse ends, the light will remain subdued until the moon completely moves out of the penumbral region at about 9.47 p.m. Try observing this eclipse with binoculars if you have them, or just observe with your eyes to see if you can spot the changes over time. The fall season officially begins on September 22nd as the sun passes through the celestial equator during the autumnal equinox. Comet Tsunchinchan Atlas will reach perihelion on September 27th. This is when it's at its closest to the sun in its orbit. This comet was discovered in January last year and is set to reach peak brightness next month. To see it on the morning of the 27th, make sure you're watching the eastern horizon before the sun rises. You'll likely need binoculars to see this one. If you really want to see this comet, you should stay updated on news from observers and scientists because the conditions can actually change very quickly with comets. Right now, predictions say it will be visible, but if it breaks apart as it approaches the sun, it might be more difficult to see. Planets will be visible earlier in the night sky this month. Saturn will lead the way each evening, rising just after sunset, and it will stay in the sky the entire night, all month. Mars and Jupiter make their way into the sky a little later. They'll both be in the sky by about midnight, so you'll have to stay up a little bit longer to see them. Also making their way into the early morning sky are some of the winter constellations that you see here, Taurus, Orion, and Auriga. The major constellations you see here, including Aquila, home to Altair of the Summer Triangle, will remain high in the sky around 10 p.m. throughout the month. This month will be one of the last times to see the densest part of our Milky Way galaxy, located near Sagittarius. Head out to a dark sky site during the new moon to see the center of our Milky Way galaxy, one last time before winter. And here is your lunar calendar for the month. New moon is on the 2nd. First quarter is on the 10th. Full moon is on the 17th. And the last quarter is on the 24th. That's all I have for September, but thank you so much for joining me again this month, and I'll see you next month. Bye!